guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something to get off my chest. Now, since starting YouTube, you guys keep commenting that I look a little bit like Zoella. Whereas I don't think I look like Zoella, but since taking this Snapchat photo, holy moly, I look just like Zoella. So this kind of inspired this video. So today I thought that I would do a Zoella makeup look. So since Zoella loves autumnal colours like bronze and golden colours, I thought that I would recreate a summer bronze look. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I've kind of done my hair all Zoella-like already. So I'm just going to pin back my, uh, my chin, <laughs> my hair. <laughs> there we go. So first of all, Zoella does like a lot of concealer. So I'm going to pop these in my problem areas. There we go. I usually end up looking a little bit like this, but I'm just going to blend it all out. Blend, blend, blend. That's it. Cover up those spots. Next, I'm going to apply BB cream. Now, I do know Zoella does use foundation, but I personally think that BB cream is much healthier for the skin. So, I'm using Clarins Skin Perfecting Cream. This is the best stuff ever. Personally, I like to directly pop it onto the sponge and then dab. Now, the reason why I don't put it onto my skin first is because sometimes you can misjudge on how much you're putting on your skin. So, I like to do it in stages. Now you may notice that this BB cream is slightly darker than my actual skin tone. Now I like to fake tan and I don't really know why but my face doesn't seem to like to tan that very well uh, and also I take my makeup off daily so I always go for something a little bit darker if I want a bronze look. Next I'm going to be using this Art Deco colour correcting palette. Now I absolutely love it, just look at those colours. Now don't be scared using these because these are absolutely fabulous. Now because I have slightly uh, olive tone to my skin, I'm going to use the green to cool the areas around my face. So, let's see how this works. Ah oh, man, it looks like I have toothpaste on my face. <laughs> Then grabbing my sponge, I just like to blend it out. Now, if you have more of a pinky tone to your skin, it might be best to use another color. I believe peach is the recommended color. Well, hey, goodbye dark circles. Next, I'm just gonna grab my Max Factor powder and then just give myself a little brush down. Gotta take that shine away. Next, I'm gonna grab my MAC bronzing powder and a brush. Now, I'm gonna gently kind of contour along the cheekbone just like this then what I'm gonna do is just take it along the hairline just like this and repeat the same on the other side and then if you want to you can then take it along the jawline now I do know Kim Kardashian does this so I'm gonna do it now this next bit is totally up to you but if you want to grab a big powder brush just like this Swirl it around in your bronzer and then just gently feather it around your face and bring it along the neck as well. This is what creates a lovely bronze glow. Who even needs the sun when you have bronzer? Next, I'm going to use my City Color B Matte Blush and I'm only going to add the tiniest bit because this is a bronze look after all. Next, I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. Now, Zoella has the most amazing eyebrows, so no pressure, El Toria, but I want to talk about these products because this is from NYX, but this cost me £8. Now, on Pick 6 deals, they do an exact same one for £5. I'm not even kidding you, so little tip there. But I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my high-definition brow defined pencil. But firstly, I'm going to use the spoolie on this one because we like straight eyebrows. Zoella also has quite thick eyebrows, so I'm gonna make them lovely and full. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna work with my MAC Amber Times 9 palette and also my Kylie Sweetheart palette. Now, for the base, I think I'm gonna go a little nudie, but I'm gonna use this color just here. So it's slightly brown, slightly bronze, and will look awesome for summer. And I'm just literally gonna go around the whole eye. I'm gonna try and leave this bit slightly blank but this is just the most perfect transitional color I just love it 
Next, I'm gonna go in with this darker shade just here, and I'm gonna go on the outside. Now, I will put the names of these shadows down below, because I know you can buy them separately in Lush. So, in Lush? <laughs> in Lush? I know Zoella and I love Lush, but it's MAC. <laughs> okay, let's put on my eyeshadow. Now, I'm just gonna go on the outside. I'm not gonna go in, I'm just gonna go kind of up, just on the outskirts. Then what you can do, you can actually bring it along the crease as well, if you wish, but make sure you do not touch the inner. Once you are happy with the mounts that you have on, it's time to blend. Now the key is to blend, blend, blend until it looks flawless. Now I haven't got too much on because this is kind of an everyday look, but if you wanna go a little heavier, be perfect for a nighttime kind of look. Once you've blended everything out, it's now time to grab your inner color. Now I'm gonna use this gorgeous bronzy color in this Kylie Sweetheart palette. Now I think this was limited edition at um, Valentine's Day, but I think you can get something similar on her website, but I absolutely love this. I think the pigmentation is just so beautiful. So I'm just gonna take it along just a tad. This eyeshadow is literally life. Right, moving on to the eyeliner. Now what I like to do, I'm gonna use my Teddy Mac pencil, which is a brownie color, and then what I'm gonna do is go along the lash line with this dark color just here. So we use that on our eyelids. But I just think this is like a lovely smoky bronzy look, and I do notice that Zoella does this now and again. So, we're gonna do it. Sometimes I just think that using a brush just like this and using eyeshadow creates such a lovely eyeliner. Ooh, I have an email. Next, I'm just gonna pop on some Rimmel London Mascara. Now, if you want to, you can just leave it there, but because Zoella has the most amazing eyelashes, I'm actually gonna pop on some false lashes. So, I picked up the Isla lengthening ones because I want the same eyelashes as her. Do you know what, I hate this bit because you have to wait for it to dry a little before sticking it on. I always get so impatient. Whoa, hey, one on, next one to go. Next, we're gonna move on to the lips. Now, I'm gonna outline my lips with this pencil just here, but I'm gonna use this gorgeous shade by MAC, which is called Hang Up. It's one of my favorite shades, and Zoella wears it quite a lot. So, let's fill in my lips. There we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and also this Zoella inspired look. If you like this video, please hit that little subscribe button because I do so many of these types of videos and I also left a few of my favorite videos for you to check out. Be sure to follow me on all my social media sites, all links to those are down below. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye!